quite another short video up in the wood, Wilbury Woods. Just to come up from that path down there. It's very windy, we've got a storm Dennis hurtling across the Atlantic towards us. It's supposed to be bringing, there's weather warnings out for severe wind and flooding. Some places are getting flooded again and again and again. Um, Ancient hill fort. Ancient Iron Age hill fort. This is. Many battles took place up here, apparently, according to historians. Burial pits all over the place. Grain pits. Defences. Great uh, defensive position overlooking the Bristol Channel over that way. Through the trees there, there's the Bristol Channel. There's a debate going on about removing the trees and stripping back to the bare architecture. Some people say the trees hold the soil, they hold the moisture and in a way protect the fort. Others think they do damage by lifting the stones and all this sort of thing. So you, got, you can see it either way I think. Some trees are protected, some are having their vines stripped and somebody told me the vines actually kill the tree. Well I don't think, I think there's a bit of a balance there because to me this one's had his vines cut and stripped because they want it to fall over. They act as, um, what do you call it, they act as uh, anchors. Somebody just coming out of the blue anarchon. So I can still talk at the moment. Quite often I usually go over that way. Um, I wanted to come up through this main path actually to have a look to say. They put down this um, special grass in places. They're trying to get put um, medieval grass back. Because they used to graze sheep up here in the past, before all the trees came. Uh, I think they might do that. Some hill forts have been stripped of their trees and they are literally covered in grass. Look at this great big canker on the tree. Amazing, isn't it? I know of it. I know of it. It's hard work for them though because the thorns and nettles and other stuff often come along when you start cutting down some trees. Um, you'll find that. See look how bare this is. I've got loads of uh, video footage of here when you couldn't see any. This was thick vegetation and trees. They're stripping it basically both sides. I'm going to divert in a minute just for a little while. I'm going over here. Going over here. again in a minute. So over there.
I'd not go back in a minute, just let those people go by. Can't video when there's people about. People think you're mad, you know, think you're talking to yourself, even in today's day and age. Not quite as much, though, because uh, most people are talking into a mobile. Um, you know, most people are now. It's allowed, but years ago to be seen as totally mad. Look at that big gully down there, look. The sea out there. Yeah, I'm going to walk back in a sec. Just doing a little bit of this. There might be an opening. I know there's a big opening around the corner there. Uh, I didn't really want to walk this far away. I'll just stand here before I go back. Um, I can only just see Sam Bay over there. Sam Point. I'll just zoom in through the trees there. And you can see Sand Bay, Sand Point, where I go walking quite a lot. The woods and Sand Bay are my reflection places. I reflect a lot. Today I'm just doing a general one about the wood. Sun's coming out for a little bit. Calm before the storm, as they say. Calm before the storm. Right, over and out for a minute. Right, this is the hill fort. Various grain pits scattered about everywhere here. I've taken some photos. Taken them loads of times over the years. But this is changing each time I come up. For example, I can now see the hill fort. I know it's winter, but there's an awful lot of trees down some they've deliberately weakened like i said they've cut their vines that anchor them and they're falling over big time just what they want and there's the hill fort through there some of the stones this is all the hill fort but like the stony bit i've got some favorite trees there here's one of my favorite trees but this one is protected i think this one here. It normally has a sign on it as well about the hill fort. I see that's been taken down. There's two groups of people up here, see? Somebody coming through there. You've got to keep your eyes peeled. That's a bloke. A stripy shirt on. Yeah, I notice a lot of signs are down actually. There's a few. There's someone else. a lot of trees down. A lot of them down. Oh, it won't be long before mine does, mine's down. It won't be long. Yeah, they strip this area right back. Some of these trees were all right not long ago. My 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 bearded friends up here. He might have gone. You could never walk in here before. They want all this gone, scrubbed back. That's the archaeologist, I believe. And they seem to have permission to do it as well. 
you know what I mean. There seems to be permission. See, so it is coming. You can start seeing the features a lot easier, though. I'll give them that. It's a very difficult thing, actually, knowing what to do. Um, I like trees, you see, so I find that difficult. But at the same time, look how this hill fort is now taking shape. With them scrugging back all the brambles and small trees and stuff, you can see the shapes. The, the, the actual hill fort is actually manifesting itself before us now. But they, they want all this down. Look how they're, they're busy here. Here's my tree. I reckon I'll have him down soon. I really do. Looks like they've sawn this one down. This one here, he's been felled. Yeah, he'll be gone. My favourite tree. I've got pictures of this tree over 11 year period. But as you can see, the fort is taking shape. You can, even here, you can see the boundary here as well. So I do understand it, why they're doing it. They want to turn all this into grass and maybe have um, sheep up here. I do understand it. And there's going to be some trees, apparently, that are going to be protected. Some trees will be protected. But here's my tree, this one. This one here is my favourite tree and he's had all his vines cut. It'll be next on the list. I'm moving out of the way, there's a bloke coming in. I'm going over it, I don't want to. There he is up there. Yeah, all this, you never used to be able to walk through here, see? No, you could never walk through here. Never could see my tree from the back. He looks really skinny and sad now. And see this drum here? This is where they do the burning. I met the bloke with a big grey beard that did that. Yeah, these drums. See that drum there? That's what they burn the wood in. See? They've got two. There's another one here. Oh, I'm going to go back in now. I'll just take some photos. So there's two drums. This place is being cleared big, big, big time, this is. Yeah, look at that. Blown or was it pulled? Big old tree, look. Been here a long time to have a big system like that in place, isn't it? Any treasure? Hello, tree. Ah, not to worry. You've done your... You made some people contented while you were... Uh, over here, the lawnmower, they're getting ready for the grass. Look, they've already got the lawnmower up here. Look. They've already got the lawnmower in position, ready. Over and out, everyone, for a minute.